Hi, this is Dr. Minkoff, LifeWorks Wellness Center. So in nature, there are natural things that, that plants use to protect themselves from foreign organisms or from being parasitized or from being eaten. These are natural things. In fact, there is something in nature which is called, it's sort of a community consciousness or it's a community reality. Do you know that if you look at a grove of trees in Africa, in the wilds, and giraffes come along and start eating at the outer edges of the grove, the young ones inside are actually being protected by the outer edges of the grove. And when the individual tree senses that the giraffe has eaten too many of its leaves, that it's not going to be able to produce its own energy because they, they make energy by photosynthesis. They need leaves to collect sunlight to make energy. The plant produces, turns the leaf from tasting normal to tasting bitter. And then when the giraffe starts to eat, it tastes bitter. And the other plants in the area get the communication and they do it at the same time. And then the giraffes move on to the next grove and the young shoots are protected and the individual members are protected. Okay? So there are natural ways nature protects itself. Now you have man come along and he's trying to farm. And the natural things in the environment that are coming after those plants, whether it be a corn stalk or a soybean or a tomato, and they start to come after it. And so through chemistry, better living through chemistry, what's happened is that we've been able to produce chemical poisons whose purpose is to target these insects or these, these, for, these, these parasitic things that try to eat the plants. And they're poisons. And you can call them herbicides or pesticides. And what they do is when the, when the bug eats or the or the or the weed starts to take hold and crowd out the other plant and you put that foreign chemical on there that's poisonous it will kill that thing okay most of these are neurotoxins they poison the nervous system they also break down the membranes of the cells of the root structure so that they can't absorb the right food okay if it's a plant now Maybe on a very small scale, this would be workable. But we know today that there are billions, yes, billions of tons that have been put on the earth of these chemicals. And the effect that they're having is that it gets on the plants, which we eat, and then these pesticides and these herbicides, like the biggest one is glyphosate, it's Roundup, they get in us and they poison us. They cause leaky gut, they cause neurological problems, and they cause cancer. This is not a good thing. The amounts of it now on planet Earth have gotten so extraordinarily high that it's also poisoning the microorganisms in the soil which break down plant structure, provide minerals for plants. So the topsoil in much of the world is now being poisoned to the extent where it's really bad for us. You know, there's a lot of talk about carbon footprints and how much carbon's being put out by animals that pass gas or poop or not enough green. But you know the biggest carbon sump in the universe or in the world are the microorganisms that are within the soil of Earth. And they could absorb all the carbon you could burn from a gazillion buses or whatever you want because that's how big it is. But it's being destroyed now by foreign chemicals, okay? And we have to stop this. These things get in our body, they get in animals, we eat the animals, and they're poisoning us. And when they poison us, they get into our system, they poison our gut, they poison our mitochondria, and they cause awful disease. In our clinic, we test people for these things. I have never, and I've tested literally thousands of patients for levels of glyphosate. Okay, glyphosate is Roundup. It's on almost all non-organic fruits and vegetables. I have never seen a patient that had no glyphosate in their body. Okay? Everyone has this. 
even if you've been organic for five years, you have glyphosate and we can measure it. Now, a lot of people have other things too. It helps to know what it is. So when we test people, we can say, hey, you've got a lot of this toxin, like gasoline related toxins. Where are you getting this from? Is this coming in from your groundwater? Is it coming in from your environment? But it's poisoning you and we have to get rid of this. Okay, so that's kind of an overview of our toxic planet. We've done this to ourselves. We can undo it as well as we've done it. We just have to lift up people's awareness that these are bad. They're bad for our animals and for our pets and for us and for the earth itself. And if we wake up and start buy organic, don't buy non-organic. Don't support it. If you buy organic, the guys that are making the bad stuff will start making good stuff because they're in business and they want to thrive. And that's perfectly okay. Okay? So I hope this gives you an understanding of it and I hope this helps.